interact and, and everyone in this all the teachers and, and instructors are all volunteers no one's making any money but um, it's really a good place if you have special needs from babyhood yeah. to manhood or, or to adulthood and they take care of all of them it gives them a chance to learn to tie your shoes um, how to cope when you're freaking out when there's something not not sitting well with you. Alam mo naman sila, nagpapanik sila kagad. Nagpablow up kagad. I don't know if you have family, friends, who have special kids. You've seen that. And we're all thinking to ourselves, wow, that was my kid. I Diba? You're already thinking, oh, now I have one. So this is a life challenge. This is why I'm always in the States. Um, doing big and small shows, picking up whatever I can, because it's not a cheap thing to raise a special child. Yes. Plus his mother and I are not together anymore. So... There's that too, broken family, special child. So my priorities since the last time we spoke have changed a lot. So things like this are very close to my heart. It's not, not oh God, I gotta go to the Philippines to do it. No, I really made sure I was here for this because I'm making a difference. So you just came back with it? Yes, like I should I should stay there. I should have stayed there until my August you, show. Oh, for your anniversary. Yeah. I'm happy lang yung asap because I'm oh, no. So I'm able to con continue uh, shooting live and taped shows for Asa. For a record lang, Martin, tell us briefly about it. Sure. Well, briefly, my, my as you can see, my brother-in-law is married to my eldest uh, sister. I is the president, and it was his dream that when he steps down, which is last June 30, uh, to have a fundraiser for this. Uh, they do many things. The Rotary Clubs, I'm sure you're familiar with that. The Rotary Club, um, Makati West, uh, this is one of their uh, uh, foundations or beneficiaries. And they wanted to do something in the, in the form of a conference. So it was just cuento, cheese, miss before, but now it really happened. Uh, we put the band together, they rehearsed. I didn't even rehearse. I didn't get to rehearse, not even once. So I jumped you off the plane. Not once. Well, in my, in my, by myself, in the plane, in whatever. So it was really just a man trying to make a difference with a, with a Rotary Club that is with the same vision to do something. In fact, while waiting for the show, they saved seven other kids. They saved already seven kids. I had not yet sung one note. Then they sold out the show. And, and I think it's also because of the cause and also because people are dying to go out again. And it was perfect because Soler wanted some, something uh, to be able to reopen the theater, to say we're back doing live performances. That's why it's Martin Live, so that the kids can live. Aww. The Gift of Life program is all about uh, uh, kids. Uh... Kids with congenital heart disease. Akala ko, Martin, live again. Pala may ano rin yung Yeah. 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 Okay. That was what, it's a double meaning. Yeah. So it's Martin's live again, or the theater is open for live shows again. But because of my live show, we're able to give life or these kids can live again. And you raised 3 million. Plus, no? 3 yeah, something. 3 million. Million. Three million. Okay, Martin, may halo na sa ulo. <laughs> Halo? Yeah. Why? Halo. Oh, Halo. No, no. It's nothing to do about me. I, it's the people who paid for the show are the ones with the Halos because, you know, nobody wants to be next to anybody anymore. Unless, of course, talagang hot na hot ka lapas ng bahay, mag-show naman tayo, something happy naman. So, again, Soler didn't have to do this. We could have done this in a ballroom somewhere and just... But they insisted to be part of this and they gave everything for free. All of the facilities. Oh yeah, zero, nothing. So we have I even paid my own way. I mean, you know, it's it's really something that. And after 40 years in the business, I, I people ask me, how come you did a show in that stupid restaurant? He said it's a fundraiser. I did one in Vegas. Yeah, but it's so bad for your career. I've been in this business for 40 years. I think I can pick and choose. I can pick. Yeah, yesterday was my 40th. Really? July 5. I said, I think I can pick and choose my shows. Big, small, with pay, no pay. Karaoke, minus one, band, orchestra. Kumu, uh, whatever. Now there's no more rules. I think after 40 years, I have nothing to prove. I have nothing nothing to prove, nothing to lose. So they said, ah, ganun ba? Plus we made a little money. That's another charity. But then this one. Zero talaga. Zero. No, the other one I got paid in that crab thing. I had crab. <laughs> and lobster. Pero hindi ka na masahe. Libre. 
Meron ding crab dito, hindi ka nagpadigil. But anyway, Martin, si Mr. Del Rosario ba is related to Ange? No. Good question though. I, oh, even, uh, do you that? No. He's you know, brother Del Rosario, he has like Jones, di ba? Or Smith tuloy, in America. Akala ko tuloy, nagpakasal kayo ni Ange, kaya ka naging father at no. brother-in-law siya. No. Uh, Because my girlfriend's Del Rosario. Oh. But no relation. Weird, no? Ah, I thought that. Yeah, she, was a, she was a brother. No, baby. Uh, baby. brother of Anne. She Gina. Baby. Sorry. Uh, baby. The baby. Del Rosario, they're not related. They're not related to. This is my sister Gina. Oh, that's Gina now? Yeah, oh, she's, Gina. it's also her anniversary yesterday. Because we did... We we started the, this the business together, so yes, yes, yes. Walang in relation to kay kay Franco, no? Sino? Uh, Ange. Ange. No. You know who knows? Who knows? Malino. <laughs> Because we're related somehow. We're also. related somehow also. Yeah. Maybe you have maybe this distantly or whatever. You'll yeah. never know. You always find out too late. We <laughs> 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 just happened to have another Tagal. thing. Oh, so we thought a while ago. He was a brother of Ange. No. How many years ago was Ange? Long. That's a good question. How, how like, at least we will not teen. make that error. For 13, 14 years. Getting married? Yeah, I'm, I'm, eventually, yeah. But I haven't popped the question, although I don't know if I have to pop any question anymore. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> I've lasted longer with her without a ring than I did with Pops with a ring. How many years ago? So, about 14 years. Ah, yes. Ha? Trauma? Without hesitation. Bilis ha? Trauma, yes. Yes. No, on my part. I, I'm not good at it. <laughs> I wasn't good at it. I'm the one who, who screwed up the first one, right? So, I don't want to mess up this one with a ring. So, there's no pressure from her? Zero, because she has two kids already. I also have a trauma. <laughs> That's her question. Are you traumatized by marriage? I have a trauma with Martin. Why? When I was starting. With me? Ayan, scoop yan. Si Mario. So it's totally possible na hindi din magpakasal? Um, yeah, because really, I think it's more for the girl. I think she deserves it. Although she's not pressuring me, she's not asking for it, you know. Uh, she could propose if she wanted. That's today, that's the thing. That's the thing now. But she and I both have a great relationship. I've never had a better relationship because she's so patient. She's so behind the scenes. Um, which I'm not saying that the guy has to be up in front of the scenes. I'm just saying in my world, I've been lying about her to all of you for so long because mm -hmm. I've been trying to protect her from us, from our world, our expectations, the many questions. And then I start doing shows with the ex-wife again and she's being bashed yeah, left and right. Yeah, yeah. And that's the worst. Look what I did. Look what I've done already to her world. I mean, if bashing was a world, I ruined it. And it's my fault because I went on stage again with the ex. The ex! We don't even have anything with each other anymore and they're still bashing whoever I'm with. And I'm hoping it's a